Okay, so this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader and today we create an expert advisor based on the change of character strategy. So this is based on a, one when we created an expert advisor based on the market structure shift and a break of structure strategy and someone said that we could create a change of character based on that logic that we did have and uh, yeah we went ahead and crafted something that uh, resembles that really and uh, yeah this is what we have the change of character that we have already created we have the expert advisor ready and um, this is going to be super easy and straightforward because we we first of all define the swing points the swing highs and swing lows the i i and i low or lower low and lower i in that case and then we determine no not based on a break of structure or market structure shift but change of character that's why you can see c h o c h labels over there so once we break out of that uh, we have a breakout uh, or change of character we open a buy position in that case once we have a break on break on character we have the bullish and bearish change of character <laughs> don't mind if i say break it is a really change of character so once we have any change of character we open the respective trade so we have like a, we could have opened a sell position over here and a sell position over here and again uh we a buy position over here and a sell position over here and a buy position over here and here and a sell position over there and a, yeah something as easy as that like um, we open a sell position over there once we do have that change of character and yeah you know wait for the verdict at the end but now we want to usually wait until we we okay what we do is that we open one position per instance we open one position and then wait for it to be validated not open too many positions but it is something that you can really change at the end if you want to you know trade on each and every setup in that instance it's something that you can really organize so what you do now over here is a let's go back over here and i will show you what we are doing and all that kind of stuff and uh, and uh, everything would be just so right uh, you know you know yeah that kind of stuff so um, we don't do much of the theory part but i can show you actually this is just like a it is something as easy as what we did on the break of structure bos you can just go to our channel and search bos or a break of structure we did a full lesson based on break of structure change of character change of character was just dn miari in that case that's why i was i said we just did break of structure and market structure shift in that case and um yeah pretty much we have done a couple of lessons and uh, yeah you can just go and view the full lesson because what you are going to be doing is just an advancement of that <laughs> really so i'll be showing you the code and then we'll uh, upload the code on our uh, telegram channel you can get it from there or our, uh, our website if it is not in either way but one guarantee is it is here as you are seeing it it is not a guarantee it will be there we can have delays uploading it but over here this is where you can get all the codes so easy peasy and uh, let's get started so for the change of character C H O C H strategy. I think that is commonly known. Don't mind my typing mistakes. I usually make that a lot of time, a couple of times. You know. Yeah. So what these people say is eh, something like this: We were having a, a trend. New, 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 new tab. Come on. New tab. So what these people say is. Eh, uh, you were in an uptrend i'm trying to fit this you were in an uptrend we have this uh, kind of uptrend uptrend marked by higher swing highs or swing lows by higher swing points rather said so whenever we have like uh, this kind of a break of structure and then we have this change of character where the trend is now changing 
in that uh, instance this is where we have like the tra whenever actually this is like um like a early early reversal like trend reversal you are like trading trade reversals so yeah so you can just go ahead and uh, do the reading on uh, on the strategy we don't know much on the theory part to make everything super easy you just flex out automators not teachers or the strategy if you wanna learn about the strategy strategy though you can just like check our our telegram okay our website yeah so i will be showing you the code and here we have the code <coughs> so to to view the whole logic about these kind of stuffs you can check our previous lesson on the break of structure what you're going to be doing over here is showing you the changes of the stuffs that we did implement to come up with that perfect change of character uh, expert advisor which you can actually go ahead and advance and make it your own and yeah you know enough with the chit chat let's get started we first of internship include the trading class this is now the first time you're seeing this i'm going to skip that very easy very quick we create the trading object to be by instantiating the by using the ctrad class which you can find on the includes folder trade folder that's why you have the trade over here the trade.mqh is the folder containing our ctrad class which is primarily over here and um, that is what contains our buy and sell methods and uh, to get access to that we'll need to have the to create an object based on the citrate class and that is exactly what we do in this uh, case feels like a uh, repetition really right yeah so we first of all have the global variables over here we have the object code that is the <laughs> the windings that you want to that we will be you know drawing in this case or the character of the windings we can just like press f1 on the keyboard and uh, to open the mql5 documentation and the wing dings code in our case we use 194 but you could use anything else in our case this is what you use i'm sure it is 194 174 <laughs> uh -huh. 174 is 174 this is what we use for the those arrows that you did see in that case but you can you could use any 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 other code over here for your for your for your ranges or uh, breakouts for for the object that you wanna visualize on the chart that that um thing that looks like whatever this <laughs> if i were to show you clearly so this is the code that we use that for that object so that you don't float actually did this it is something that is also on the previous code so why am i even doing over doing this okay actually we have added the comments for to make each and everything super easy and straightforward so i'm not going to waste a lot of time we have the enumeration over here for trade mode this may be what we was not in the previous code <coughs> if you want to trade per bar or per tick per tick is a by default we trade per bar but you if you want to trade per tick then uh, the breakouts will be used per tick i mean whenever you have uh, breakouts per tick okay <laughs> explain i'm not a teacher so but i do teach forex uh, le let me show you what i mean easily put So the breakouts will be trading will be being traded per tick. So we don't wait for for this bar to end. Whenever we have this close over here, we open that buy position very fast. <laughs> very fast. Whenever we detect a breakout, we trade that breakout very very quickly in that uh, instance. So we trade per tick and not per bar. If it was per bar, we would have traded on this particular next bar that is over here maybe i can try to show that to you 
So there are advantages and disadvantages of trading both. So it is upon you to, you know, go ahead and try to, you know, have a look. Like you can see over here, we trade on this particular uh, bar where we have the breakout. We close above the bar of on that candlestick. So we wait for this bar to close. I mean, I don't know if you, okay, let me expand this. I don't know if you get the logic. <coughs> on the previous bar, we traded this bar, which is over here. Which is now on this bar, which was partic because we detected a price breach on this uh, character that is over here. We detected that change early based on that bar. So we would have opened a buy position over here instead of having to wait over here. So there is no that kind of confirmation. But on this other one, if you want to trade per bar, you wait for a bar to close above, above. For it to be a valid closure or a valid breach in that case so we wait for this bar to completely close above then on the next tick we open this buy position in that uh, instance so it is upon you now to you know mm, yeah you can test whichever you can see then we have the trailing uh, points and not per points in that case in an enumeration again we have this group for the input parameters that you want to trade with i'm not going to explain this because it you can find it on the previous lesson so i'm going to skip that we have the <coughs> we first of all set the expert magic number on initialization for us to be able to trade with it and that, that is all or do it we don't do anything on a partic this is where the most of the heavy lifting is now or done in that uh, instance so first of all we have these helper functions over here we have the function to update the font sizes um, everything is pretty much straightforward we have these helper functions to get the high low closing uh, and time prices which are pretty much straightforward we did define them actually on the previous code so we don't need to redefine them over here we have the swing the draw swing point which is again on the previous code we have the draw break level which is again on the previous code what am i even supposed to explain here now because it is the same 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 code same uh, logic that we did use Patrick, we want to trade on each and every bar and not on each and every tick so if you don't have a new bar we return in that uh, case but then store the logic we store the logic in uh, ace new bar so that you, it can allow us to trade on each and every tick on or on each and every uh, bar in that case so per bar this is where we define the trend via the swing highs and swing lows via looping the neighboring bars and finding the swing highs and swing lows and setting the swing highs and swing lows if we do find them we first of all uh, <coughs> Assume we do have a swing high and a swing low. The current buy is swing high and or swing low until proved otherwise over here in that uh, instance. So, yeah, we find in the swing high and swing lows and then why am I even repeating myself? You can find all this code. I mean, this all logic on the previous lesson. It is clearly explained to detail. Then, if it's a swing low, we draw the swing, the swing points or the swing labels. Then after drawing them, we need to get the ask and bidding prices to detect the change of character or the breakouts in that case. So this is the logic we use to check, just like the break of structure, to check for the swing highs and swing lows in that case. And whenever we have a swing high or swing low, I mean we have a breakout or change of character, we draw that break in that case. And then when you break out of it, I mean after you have the breakout we draw the change of character and then we come or go ahead and open the respective position the buy position the same logic applies to the sell uh, logic that uh, instance that's all pretty much easy peasy and uh, everything is all that straightforward then to managing the positions we apply the trailing stop in this uh, instance and we allow it to run on each and every time on each on each and every tick as long as we have a position that uh, instance the function for the trailing stop 
their update chart event this is a new function that we added to actually update the font sizes which we thought it was something super cool if um, if you change the chart like this uh, let me show you or if something changes so that uh, stuffs can can all the things can remain visible if i expand it this the the size that we have over here is super big if i the initialize it like you can see the change of character is clearly visible but when i shift to something like this you can see it is cluttering our display over here which now when i click on a on the play or next you can see the it is updating dynamically so that you know that visual appeal this is not something that is a uh, impacting the the code but it is improving it so that is all about the code so i'll just like uh, go back to the top and i can zoom out and you can copy the code and as i scroll slowly And you can use it maybe for further studies, for further advancements, and yeah, whatever you use it for. Uh, that's upon you. That is all upon you. Yeah, really. If I am super quick, you can just, you know, pause the video at any given time and do the copy, copying, copying thing, copy thing, copying, copying, copy, copy, whatever it is. So that is all. Bye bye. And uh, see you later. See you later on the next session.